Hey guys, today we are going to be cleaning, decluttering, and organizing, deep cleaning the refrigerator, organizing and decluttering the refrigerator and the pantry. I have some pantry organization solutions. I'm also going to be sharing a grocery haul with you as well as some whole house decluttering and organizing and deep cleaning. So stay tuned for a lot of speed cleaning and motivation coming your way. Hey guys, so it was about nap time and Mike was getting the girls laid down for their nap and I was getting started on my day of cleaning. So I wanted to get a lot done specifically during nap time. So I started out doing some laundry and then I wanted to take Avery's bedding off and put it on the floor because I like to do that because if I strip the bedding, then it forces me to actually make sure it gets washed. And then I wanted to disinfect our laundry baskets because it's just something that you just don't do very often. So I grabbed my Jaws disinfectant, sprayed down the laundry baskets, and while those were drying, I wanted to get started on the downstairs. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you a Thrive Market grocery haul and share with you how you can get 25% off of your first order and a free gift. So I'm sitting here laughing. Did you see little Minnie's legs moving, hands and legs? So that Minnie crawls. So I must have tapped her when I was cleaning up and you could see her little legs going really quickly because of the editing. But I was picking up the living room and the kitchen because obviously it was pretty messy. And then the plan for this first day of cleaning was to deep clean, declutter, and organize the refrigerator and the pantry. And I'm also gonna share with you a grocery haul. So I wanted to get everything clean deep cleaned before i organized the groceries in the fridge and the pantry and then i also got something new for my pantry to kind of create more space in there so i also wanted to share that with you guys as well so first day focusing on the refrigerator and the pantry and the grocery haul and then on day two i will be doing some more decluttering and organizing some paper clutter some kitchen organization decluttering um, and then deep cleaning my rugs and then cleaning upstairs So deep cleaning my refrigerator, this is kind of one of my refrigerator cleaning hacks. I put some, or I run some super hot water in the bathtub and then squirt some Dawn dish soap in there. And then I take my refrigerator shelves out and place them in the tub and let them sit and soak. There's no scrubbing. It gets everything off of the shelves without having to scrub or using any elbow grease or any issues. But I will say this, this is important. So um, I've never had this problem, but you do wanna be careful with taking something really cold from the refrigerator to hot water, because that shift in temperature can cause the glass to shatter and break. Now it's never happened to me, but it can happen. So what I have started doing is running the shelves before I put them in the tub under like lukewarm water um, in the faucet, like the kitchen faucet, and then I put them in the bath or you can even let them just sit out and kind of come to room temperature. It really doesn't take that long for them to cool down and then I put them in the bath. So you might wanna make sure you do that before you do that. I just wouldn't want anything to shatter but you just let them sit for, I don't know, it, however long you're doing something else for. So it can be 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't take that long for everything um, to lift off of the shelves in the tub. And I did clean the tub before and after, just FYI. And 
make sure you guys stick around because I'm going to be showing you a grocery haul here soon. I'm going to be showing you um, some a really cool organizing solution that I got for my pantry to create more space in there. I'm also going to be deep cleaning my rugs because they were filthy from the winter with my carpet cleaner, doing a lot of laundry, decluttering some paper clutter, and then other drawers in the kitchen. So a lot more, so stay tuned. So when you guys are seeing this, we are gearing up for Avery's sixth birthday. So you guys will be seeing this on the 22nd. She turned six on the 23rd. She's having a couple of friends over for a little birthday party. And then we'll have our um, immediate families over on Sunday. I am just so excited for her to celebrate her birthday last year. Um, just because of everything going on, she didn't have anything. And then two years ago, we had just came home like a few days before her birthday. We had brought the twins home from the NICU. So so obviously knee deep in everything twins and me recovering from my c-section we really didn't do anything so i am so ready to make her birthday special this year All right, so before we keep going, um, here in a little bit, I'm going to show you my box um, that I just got in from Thrive Market. And I wanted to show you guys what I got because this was my first time using Thrive Market. And I recently asked you guys over on Instagram if you have ever used it. I see it so much here um, on YouTube and on Instagram. I see commercials. So I was really curious and I wanted to try it out, but I was unsure. And some of you guys said the exact same thing. You wanted to try it, but you were a little unsure. So I tried it out for you guys. And what Thrive Market is, is it's an online membership-based market on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. And I'll talk more about this later on, but I got the yearly membership and it comes out to $5 a month. So there's guaranteed savings. Members save on average of $32 on every order. And I loved everything we got. And even more so, my kids did. Um, so something I haven't really talked about and probably my reasoning for looking into Thrive Market is something I haven't really talked a lot about. But I do follow more of a lower carb diet. Um, if you didn't know, I have PCOS, which stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome, and it's a hormonal disorder that ultimately, um, it that was the cause of why I was not able to get pregnant and why we had a lot of uh, infertility issues. But a lot of women who have PCOS have insulin resistant issues, and there is a ton of research. This is something that I've talked to, uh, my doctor actually brought it up to me about following a low carb ketogenic diet can help improve the symptoms of PCOS. So that's ultimately why healthy eating healthy and fitness is really important to me because of my PCOS. And I already have, you know, I already have something going against me, um, PCOS. And I feel like I feel my best when I am on a lower carb diet. So I still eat carbs, um, but I just try to eat more of a lower carb diet. So that was my main reason why I um, originally wanted to try Thrive Market um, because it would make eating lower carb keto easier. But also with the twins, they tend to be pretty picky eaters. So I like to make for sure when they are eating, when they are eating certain foods or when they're eating snacks or snacky type foods, I want to make for sure we are maximizing the nutrients and getting, you know, some good quality nutrients into them. Okay, so before we keep going, um, I wanted to pull everything out of the boxes that I got from Thrive Market so I can organize all of this stuff in the fridge and pantry, you know, before we finish up all of that organizing and declutter. So they have two different membership options, a one month and a one year. I went with the one year because it comes out to $5 a month and Thrive Market has a new offer for you guys. If you join today, you get 25% off of your first order and a free gift. And I'll have all of the details for that here in a minute. My 
goal with this was to find some healthy snacks for the kids um, as well as you know family friendly meals that we can make keep in the pantry for nights we don't really feel like cooking that much so I'll start over here so these are a staple in our house the z-bar protein bars Avery eats granola bars almost every morning so we get these all of the time um, I got these kind energy bars just before I go on runs or I go to work out sometimes I just need something um, and I like how they have 10 grams of protein right there um, I got these for Avery to throw in her lunches. I got these Lara bars for the girls. Um, the twins are still getting their two year molars in and they can just be picky. It's like one day they'll eat really well, the next day they won't. And so if there's nothing they'll eat, I like having healthier snacks on hand like these. And then I also got these peanut butter minis. Um, I heard this brand is really, really good. I got these grass fed beef sticks, another, um, for me, another snack for actually both Mike and I. I got the cereal for the girls. Honestly, they use this more with snacks. And then for myself, I got this collagen peptides. Um, I put that in my coffee every single morning. So down here, okay, so I was doing some meal planning when I was ordering. Um, we love pizza. Pizza is one of the meals that everyone in the family likes, and I thought it would be fun with Avery to make her own pizza. Oh, here we go. Um, so I got this thin crust pizza with the pizza sauce right there. So the one thing that I always look for when I get like a, a marinara sauce or anything like that this stuff can have high sugar in it and it's like um so i like this one only had two grams of sugar so got that and then i make it with this um we've we've had this before it's they actually make a couple of different types of noodles these are the spaghetti noodles the banza banza i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but it's spaghetti made with uh chickpeas They're big chips and salsa fa salsa family so i got this um organic salsa in medium these late july sea salt thin and crispy tortilla chips oh and i also got some primal kitchen garlic alfredo sauce so mike has been eating healthy for the past couple of months and you guys even i was laughing on one of my recent videos you guys made a lot of comments about his muscles so he's been working out a lot um eating healthier and he loves using different types of sauces and seasonings on his um like if he makes wings or something thing full is protein and protein snacks um so i got these for me also for the kids i got these for avery to throw in her lunches the twins will love these for their teeth um because they're like crunchy and i think they feel good on their gums so i got some of these annie's organic cheddar cheesy smiles um as well as the thrive market veggie sticks I and then I got the freezer pops organic freezer pops good pop um, for the summer for the girls or I guess Avery um, so I thought that would be pretty good and they have no sugar added and what's really cool about Thrive Market is you can pick the membership that best fits your lifestyle they have one month memberships a 12 month membership I personally went with the 12 month membership just because it made more sense for our family because it comes out to five dollars a month but if you're not sure if you're gonna like it you just want to try it like a lot of you guys said um, to me on Instagram is you can do the one month and just try it out give it a try Again, all of the details will be in the description, but just go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey. I just like it because it is truly easy to shop. You can easily shop by 100 plus diets and values like keto, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, fair trade certified, BPA free, and more. You can even sign up for auto ship and never run out of your favorite groceries and products, um, but you don't have to sign up for auto ship. You can just go on, shop like normal when you need your groceries um, and get them de delivered to you. Orders of $49 or more are shipped free and delivered with their carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. What's also cool is they also give back through Thrive Gives. They have a one for one membership matching program. So every paid membership sponsors a free one for a low income family. So that's really cool.
Okay, so now we are tackling the pantry and I recently got this wire shelf. Um, you can get it on Amazon, but they were all out. So I got it from Lowe's and you just kind of clip it on. You hang it on the bottom of the wire shelf in the pantry. And I was going to put bread there. Um, I just needed more space in the actual shelves. And like normally this would be unused space. So I thought it would be perfect for bread. I mean, we're always using bread or I thought I could put our flour tortillas here. Just something, you know, to always know when we have the bread, um, if we need new bread, all of that. Cause it's really important that we keep that around for Avery's lunches. She likes to pack. Um, but I thought this would be a perfect solution because like I said, this is normally unused space. It is so crazy to me how cl just cleaning up the pantry and the fridge, how much better you feel, um, better you feel and accomplished. So um, when I was done cleaning out and organizing the pantry and the fridge, I actually got really excited because I just felt like the house felt cleaner just because the fridge and the pantry was kind of cleaned up. And when Avery got home, she ran to the pantry to get a snack and she got so excited. She always love seeing when I neatly organize things. She thinks it's really cool, but I also think it's cool for her. So I was able to organize all of the new snacks and kind of put them there on the bottom. And when she comes home, you know, we always, you know, have her have a healthier type snack and she's more likely to want and be willing to eat those healthier snacks, like, you know, the applesauce pouches or the bars or things like that when they're laid out right there, um, or even fruit. Like if it's neatly cut up in the containers, she's much more likely to want to eat it versus um, if there's a process to it or something like that. So I like having those healthy snacks at eye level right there when she opens the pantry because she's much more likely to grab for that. We are on to day two and another nap time at clean with me. So the twins were napping again and I had plans to get things done. It was a rainy, cool day, which I feel like can make cleaning easier and can make it easier to get stuff done when it's raining and cool. You know, when it's sunny and beautiful outside, you just want to be outside. So when it's cold or rainy or dreary, it's easier to be inside because you're stuck here anyways. And then there's also just something cozy about being able to stay inside. So anyways, I was folding laundry and then I wanted to wash our rugs. I've been doing this multiple times um, throughout the winter, but our rugs cannot be washed in the washing machine. And I'll show you guys here um, in a minute the backing had started to come off because I used to wash the rugs in the washing machine. And I've had a lot of you guys say, oh, well, I just wash, you know, I'm able to wash my rugs in the washing machine. I just don't dry them. That's what I used to do too. I would put them in the wash and I would air dry them. Um, but the backing started to come off. So I've also had people say, cause you're like, oh, like no big deal. Like if you weren't really paying attention, you maybe wouldn't even notice. But then I had some people say, yeah, that backing slowly and like just like in small ways starts to come off and it gets clogged up. I don't know what exactly it does, but it gets clogged up or somewhere in the washing machine. And I've had people say that that can actually ruin a washing machine. So I've been using my carpet cleaner to clean my rugs and it's just crazy. Um, how much stuff comes out of it because it's um you know like a carpet you clean the carpet carpet's fluffy it has padding um you expect a lot of stuff <laughs> dirt whatever to be in carpet but the rugs like this rug there's really not much to the rug itself you know and i um i shook it outside uh, i vacuumed it but it's crazy to see, I'll show you um, when I'm done, how dirty the water was and all of the sediment that was sitting in the bottom of this. But it just shows you how much 
holds on to the rug um but then also you know you just think of like this is what we could be trekking in the house if we don't stay on top of cleaning this So I know I've said this before, but I always get questions on the different carpet cleaners that I have. You know, I have my Bissell Pro Heat Pet Pro um, upright carpet cleaner, and then I have this Hoover Power Dash Pet upright carpet cleaner. They are both, I would, I would recommend both to you. Wonderful carpet cleaners, but they're different. Um, this one doesn't have an attachment. My Bissell does. Um, I do feel like the Bissell Pro Heat Pro Pet is more heavy duty. Um, but it's also very heavy. It has bigger tanks, um, things like that. The Bissell, or I'm sorry, the Hoover is smaller. It's more compact. It has smaller tanks. Um, it's a lot lighter. So it just depends on your needs. Um, you know, like how much carpet you have, how big your rooms are, if you need the attachment, stuff like that. Um, so to me, they're both wonderful. It just depends on like maybe even your budget. But for my carpets, because it's a small space, I don't need a big um, water tank. Um, I just wanted something easy and lightweight and not cumbersome or anything. So I always grab my um, Hoover Power Dash Pet when I'm cleaning my carpets. And then I grab my Bissell Steam Shot to go in there and blast everything away because it's like one of those things where, you know, I don't want hair or dirt sitting in the carpet cleaner because who knows when I'm going to use this again. Um, I just don't want it sitting in there. So the steam shot is perfect to just kind of blast everything away. I really, it's important to me to take care of my carpet cleaners and make sure they're fully clean because it's just gross, you know, like I said, when you see the hair sitting in there. And then, um, like I just, they're expensive machines and I just want to make sure I have them as long as I can, you know? Um, so the next thing that I was going to do was declutter some of Avery's papers, her school papers over here around the corner so this is how we organize her papers from school and I kind of let it get out of hand on purpose because there's been so many times I've thrown stuff away because I'll admit I'm that mom who just can be ruthless and just throws things away um, I started doing that just kind of like throwing everything away when she would bring it home from school but then we've gotten in trouble because I end up throwing things away that we didn't realize we would need for like next week's homework or something so I've gotten in a habit um of and you know like of course there are times where I know I don't need something but I've gotten a habit of just pretty much keeping everything and then every couple of weeks I go in here and do this I get rid of stuff because after it's been a couple of weeks I know we won't need most of this stuff anymore so just making sure I periodically come in here and declutter and it's okay to let areas get out of hand sometimes just making sure that you have on rotation to come in and declutter it you know every couple of weeks or whatever keep clocking all my hours i told you that work now play later but you keep going off on me keep texting like it's all on me yeah you're all in my head like you're my forever not for right now my day one you hold me down hot cold like the winter time fight for your love can't slow me down don't go far i take me and you over living large no i'll be there whenever you are because you sound bright like you sound bright like a shoe And then I want to declutter these pull-out drawers. And they always get out of hand. If you have been a follower for a while, then you have seen me do this for quite a while. And honestly, I've just come to the conclusion that this is just how they're going to be. Um, I mean, they're kind of junk drawers, but not really. I mean, we have an official junk drawer, like a junk drawer 
that everyone has with scissors and tape and bottle openers like you know that typical junk drawer stuff but then these are kind of extra pull out drawers and they're so big and I really in the beginning had wanted to organize them um, and I was like on a mission to find things to do um, find ways to organize them but I was kind of having a hard time and then I just started to think well I mean a lot of the stuff in here changes and so I just didn't want to spend the money to organize it and then it just didn't, it wouldn't work. Like I can't think of anything, even the expandable drawer organizers, I can't think of anything. Um, like I just don't think that that would necessarily be a good solution. So I've realized that, um, cause like, you know, we keep random stuff like sunglasses or sunscreen and stuff like that in here. We keep a brush and hair ties because with the three girls, I feel like we always have to brush someone's hair, or throw it up in a ponytail. Uh, so I don't think it's ideal that these aren't organized and they don't look perfectly organized, but I think just coming in here and getting rid of the junk periodically, it just ends up working for us. The other thing with these drawers, I'm sure you guys have this as well. Sometimes you have something that you're not ready to get rid of. So you're like, well, I know I'm not going to need this long term but I may need it in a couple of days or I may need it in a week. So we kind of use these drawers for that type of stuff as well. Um, and I was able to get rid of a lot of the stuff in here. So again, it's kind of like that junk drawer. And I think the the key for you guys to take away is it's okay to have areas that aren't, they don't look perfect, that you know are messy sometimes and that they do get out of hand, um, but just making sure you periodically go in and declutter or it will get out of hand. Um, so these drawers don't look perfectly organized when I'm done. You're not going to see like, oh, wow, look at that dramatic transformation. But they are free of clutter and they're free of things that we no longer use. Everything in these drawers now we are actively using and that works for us right now. Um, we do have a lot of storage in our kitchen. So we don't need these drawers for anything else. I think if we needed these drawers for something else, then it may be more of a problem or an issue, but like we wouldn't use these drawers for anything else. So I'm okay with them being extended junk drawers as long as we make sure we stay on top of the clutter and junk. Do you guys like watching mopping as much as I like watching it back? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't spend a lot of time watching videos on YouTube just because most of the my time spent, um, the free time that I have is creating and editing videos. Um, but when I'm watching my videos back, I think it's fun to see. I like watching the sink scrub and then the mopping. I just like seeing the shiny, wet floor. Close my eyes and go back Play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah We were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture-perfect sky now I look so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me and then by this point, the twins were already up, but I wanted to pop in their room and clean everything up um, and then do another load of laundry and put that away. And I feel like the room, this is just how it gets every single day. Uh, and we do plan on getting something for their stuffed animals and other stuff, but I'm going to wait until we get rid of the rocking chair. To be honest with you, we could probably get rid of it now. We don't really use it anymore, um, but I, I just, I don't know, not quite ready to get rid of it. Um, but once we do, I will get something, maybe a cube organizer or something just so, you know, as they grow, they're going to have more stuff um, as bigger girls, bigger toddlers. So I'll have something to organize that stuff um, here soon. Um, but for right now, that's just kind of what we're doing. Um, I was going to also vacuum and then vacuum out in the hallway and then finish up the laundry. That's over now. We've been playing his and So 
So I had one more laundry to fold, load of laundry to fold, and then I was going to put the twins laundry away. And something that we've kind of been doing um, is, so I take Avery's laundry and you just, um, I put it on the ledge over there and then she puts it away. Um, I even got her a little step stool so she can hang up her clothes because a lot of her clothes are hung up. And it's just one of those things I started thinking and, you know, I'm always finding ways to make my life easier um and she's six she'll be six actually when you guys are seeing this the next day the 23rd so um you know she's old enough she can do it so i've started doing that and when soon as she gets home from school i'm like hey go put your laundry away so it's been working really well for us lately but i just realized that i don't think i closed out this video so i think that's gonna be it for today's video thank you thank you so much for sticking around um, i hope you found this video motivating i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to go check out thrive market all of the details will be in the description just go to thrivemarket.com slash jamie's journey for 25 percent off your first order plus a free gift Sorry, I didn't. Wake up at your place. Wake up.